Uh, hello and welcome to the knowledge sharing session of Kubi Software Incubator. My name is Avinav and uh, today we will be learning about how to set up play framework and use Angular for rendering the views. And then on top of Angular, we will also see how to install a bootstrap template to work with our app. So we will be working on these technologies actually. So we have already seen how, what is play framework and how we can use it with Scala. But in here, uh, we'll be doing a bit of something more actually. So what, uh, for whom is this required actually? This is required because most of the web developers actually are not very familiar with Scala plus HTML views. Okay, and uh, one more thing is that Scala views, when we use it in the play framework, it makes the front end and back end code very difficult to differentiate later onwards because play framework uses the MVC structure. So the better way to go is use Angular. And already many web developers are familiar with it. And it is required because if we want to keep the backend and frontend both in the same instance, and also if we need a good backend to pair our Angular app, we can use Play. And how it can be done and the routings, I will not be going in depth through it. I will be using a skeleton app where I will just show you how to install Angular and the Bootstrap theme along with it. So the prerequisites uh, that we need is a bit of Scala, a bit of Angular, and also Git. So what is Play Framework? We have already seen that Play Framework uh, is a high productivity Scala and Java web application framework. So the front end and back end is already integrated in one instance. So, and also we have already seen that it follows the model view controller architecture. But in this case, we will not be using the Scala views. Uh, we will be using the Angular views. And uh, why should we use the uh, play framework? Because uh, the backend and frontend code resides in the same server we can easily differentiate between the backend and frontend code when we use Angular. And it has easy CI and CD integration. So, and also no more cross origin resource sharing hassle. So what is cross origin resource sharing hassle? Uh, let me explain it. And also we can see that we have many play commands such as this, which gives us a painless development experience. And also the Angular uh, CLI is very powerful. So what is course? Just let me quickly go through it because uh, when the backend and frontend resides in different servers, so to communicate between these two, uh, we use some HTTP headers and some requests. So this is this process is actually a hassle for many of us. So to overcome this, we can use play. And how we can set up the app is uh, I have this skeleton uh, for the app. So I'll be sharing this link with you all guys. So this is the uh, uh, a big thanks to this guy actually uh, from where I learned. He has a great blog about this, how he did it. And let me just show it to you practically. So let me clone this repo. Let me run it in VS Code.
So we have to run SPT here. It will start building the project. So the uh, we we can see here that uh, there is no views here. There is controllers uh, and the models. I also have not built it yet, but you can see that there is no views as well. So the views here is the UI where all the Angular code is residing. Okay, so this yes yes uh, the routings is already set up here you can see that uh, in the routes folder uh, for the home home directory that uh, we can see that controllers front end controller index so um, by this it means that it will go to these controllers then it will go to front end controller then index and it will run this index.html file which is actually uh, 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 in the views actually here it is UI index.html this file it will run this file so in the UI part these are all angular code so many web developers are already familiar with angular so it is very easy to work on it while it is uh, running i would like to show you after this what we need to do uh, we can use angular and we can also use plain html html and css actually but uh, that is not very feasible because it will take a very long building time so what we can use is that we can use an angular template we can get we can buy actually very good templates from this site so this already has a lot of templates where we can directly work on the app instead of focusing on the UI we can directly work on the logic actually to make our building process much faster so I have already bought, uh, bought and downloaded uh, one of my uh, themes which I liked so after that you have to extract that theme yes 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 Corno uh, showed most of the views with Scala and uh, HTML actually so we are not very familiar with it because we have not because many web developers are not familiar with it actually but they use this angular so this is the way to go Yes, we can see that this is the project, the sample project from this repository. And yes, uh, now we have installed Angular, okay? But then also it is very difficult to just work on a blank Angular uh, project with nothing in it to create the app from scratch. And also we do not want to use basic HTML and CSS. So to install a bootstrap thing, what we can uh, do is that I have already shown you how you can download that theme, then extract it, then uh, you will get a file like this theme files. So actually, this is the project that we are currently viewing. So this is the theme files that I have downloaded. Go into these theme files, and then here are the Angular files. So let me just copy these files. This UI. Let me delete these files. Get this file here. Yes, it is done. Run it again. So let me just quickly go through what I did. So I just replace the uh, default files from the repository with the theme files. So 
this theme already has these components like and also some apps like the chat app or many other apps like this like maps that we can directly use yes it is running now so this is the sample app that we have and this is the theme actually so uh, we can directly work on it we can whatever we need like we if we need this chat app we can directly bring it into our project like this inbox or messages everything we can bring it directly into the project these components and uh, this is all how we can set up a play framework with Scala and then use angular for the views and then install a boot, uh, bootstrap template on top of it so uh, if anyone has doubts you can ask me uh, are you guys uh, able to hear me yes yes it becomes actually we can work from it uh, work on it instantly we do not need to set up anything else Uh, if anyone has doubts or I will conclude this meeting. Okay, then uh, I'll stop here.